Oh. And we're back. And we back. And we back. So we that was a great album to Acid Rat. Acid Rat should have won. Should have been nominated. Actually, it does not make any sense how he won Best New Artist, but whatever, man. That's yeah, because these people be putting in work for like 10 years. Dude, Chance, I listened to it since high school, dude. I'm a junior in college now, man. When I listened to Acid Rap when it came out, the only and the only reason why I, I listened to it, I told my manager this, who's he does beats and, and he he um he makes like he does producing and stuff. Yeah, like he that. does producing. He has okay. in his in his room he has like a his own microphone. Like people go there to record. That's sick. And I was like, the only reason I listened to Acid Rap was because of the artwork, because that was the first thing that attracted me. And and then he was like, yo, that gave me. That may gave me a good idea because he feels like his is is too simple now. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we're gonna get more into chance later on. But now uh, the Trump presidency is still going terribly. Uh, yesterday, his um, secretary of labor Andy Pudzer he resigned. Um, yeah, as, he's supposed, as to, he's supposed to announce. He's actually supposed to announce his new one in 15 minutes. Oh really? Uh -huh. uh, yeah, I got a, I got a CNN update on my phone. So I got the app, yeah. and it says President Trump announces new Labor Secretary pick at 12:30 Eastern time. Yeah, yo, he doesn't like his show. Like he's like, at 12:30. I'm gonna like <laughs> he lives with the app. Come on, dude. he did he the same with thing with the with the um, Supreme Court judge. He was like at 8 p.m. Tuesday. <laughs> I will <laughs> tune in now. <laughs> <laughs> on the apprentice. Oh no, president. Like <laughs> on the front. I'm the president. <laughs> yo, he's just insulting. God, uh, what's his name? Arnold Schwarzenegger too. Yeah, he he took over for the for the Apprentice, right? Yeah. I I never watched the impre Apprentice in my life. So, like so, I, I don't like know how. You, you might as well just watch Shark Tank. Shark Tank's probably yeah, yeah, a way that's, better that's version right. of it. Mark Cuban is there. So yeah, he had the Muslim ban that was overturned by uh, three judges uh, in the Ninth Circuit. Uh, North Korea launched missiles during his dinner uh, with uh, the president of Japan, Abe. Um, and then he took. He literally had the meeting like there at the dinner table, and like people were able to see. Um, see like the records or, or whatever they, they were talking about like in plain view people took pictures with the guy who who has the launch code so now everybody knows who he is uh, Michael Flynn resigned um, uh, he I was caught speaking to Russia yeah he was like caught that. speaking to Russia before Trump was even president which is illegal um, he, so basically he told them not to worry about the sanctions that Obama put on Russia mm -hmm. um, because when Trump is president they're gonna get rid of them of course because they're best friends mm -hmm. um, and also, Andy Pudzer, he resigned because of lack of support by Republicans. That that was a that was a big Have thing. Have you ever? I mean, I don't know. I don't know if I'm becoming more aware of it now because I'm a little older. But I don't remember there being this many like no. resignations and have new, like rehirings and Not stuff. Oh, right? Michael Flynn lasted 24 days. Now Jesus. I was watching. Um, which show was it? It mm -hmm. was I forget exactly which show, but they were saying that yeah, um, it was like a new show. It's one of these these late night shows with these with comedians like doing satire and stuff and all like the ones on cbs or you mean like john oliver no, like john oliver yeah trevor no um it was one of them i forget who exactly but yeah. uh ronald reagan had nine people that resigned and like two three of them were like for the iran contra like one of them lasted a year the other one like six months and stuff like that so that happened in the past but not just 24 days this guy lasted just 24 days in the trump presidency uh trump insulted the judges um that that uh, overturned his his Muslim ban uh, for saying that he's trying to protect the country. So far, no attacks have been happening uh, while the ban has been has been blocked. Uh, I'm so glad that like the Muslim ban has been done, like, has been like ended. Not only for the fact just because of the actual effects of the Muslim ban, mm -hmm. but it just shows that our system of checks and balances is actually like efficient. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That even though the commander in chief can put on this ban that no one agrees with, mm -hmm. we can still have others come in and actually cut it off. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Yeah, it gives exactly. credibility to the government system, I think. And Bill Maher did, said the realest thing. He was like, Republicans are like the key now because. Of course, Democrats are going to block him. Of course, you know that they're not going to go with the Supreme Court pick either. They're just not going to listen to him, like mm -hmm. they did with the uh, with the the Supreme Court pick that Obama nominated, or they're just going to block every single thing that he, that he tries to do, or or stop his nomination as well. Um, but it's up to the Republicans because they have the majority, mm -hmm. so it's up to them 
to basically decide whether he he gets in or not and of course he will because he's against abortion um mm -hmm. and he's like he's a really conservative judge and i think i think for one of these shows we need to have a trump supporter come in and actually that's what i wanted that's what i wanted to do we need to actually have because i feel like we're obviously yeah. very liberal and we're, we're anti-trump yeah, yeah, yeah. but i want to have the opinion of someone else come in and defend him like give someone give yeah. a valid like very thoughtful eloquent opinion mm -hmm. you know what i mean because mm -hmm. like the way it is right now i've never seen it like mass like i have friends who are protesting against trump who are in the city marching with like signs and stuff yeah and these are people who i never thought would get involved but you you know what yeah. it's not only about themselves it's about the country as a whole you yeah. know what i'm saying see my thing about talking to to people who, who support trump and stuff it's really really difficult like you see kellyanne conway go up there and just straight lie like it's and say alternative facts and and things like that just mm -hmm. manipulate people and how they think and i'm like like you know, the worst, the worst talk to them, but it's like, okay. how do you talk to people like that? Like, I don't. It's the worst. That's the worst. It's cause, but it's also the thing is that people like that who lie, who are hot headed, and who just like yell and just, you know, they don't, they don't, they don't consider other opinion. Mm -hmm. I feel like that's a, I don't want to say it's a majority of the Trump supporters, yeah. but it's a definitely a section of them. Mm -hmm. But it's the vocal section of them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're obviously not representative of them all. Mm -hmm. There are definitely Trump supporters out there who know politics and actually agree with his ideals and can yeah. give you eloquent and actually cohesive thoughts as to yeah. why. Yeah. We need to find we I need mean, to find someone like that. So because we keep going against them, and I'm not saying you know it's just our opinion. You know, it's our opinion. Mean, it's whatever. The thing that they say the most is that it's mm -hmm. because you know Democrats didn't care about about the. Uh, them basically they felt like they were neglected mm -hmm. felt like but my thing is that you have these neo-nazis you have these racist groups and for the second year in a row um hate groups and hate organizations have been on the rise in in america and my thing is that if you could denounce them if you could say no this is not these are not good people no because they're gonna just be okay with it because it doesn't affect them they're just gonna no be challenging like, the status quo nobody's the challenging them nobody's so if you're not See, we equate uh, those races with the people kind of like in the Midwest, which mm -hmm. is wrong. But it's because they're just letting it happen, kind of. They're just going with the flow. They're just okay with it. And to me, that's why I'm like, well, if, if you are against them, if you're saying that you're not racist because you're voting for Trump, if you're saying that you're not for the Muslim ban and it's for, you know, getting jobs back and stuff like that, then those people need to be denounced. Those people, like... Uh, Spencer, Spencer, or something like that. I mm -hmm. forget his, his 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 full name. He got punched at one of the marches. But those people need to be silenced. Those people, you need to go against them if you're telling me this that that you don't believe in in that side of of Trump and what he brings out. And on Tuesday, I don't know how the day where teachers were just talking about Trump, mm -hmm. um, talking about Islamophobia, and, and basically educating people on mm -hmm. what really is happening in this country. And there were Trump supporters sitting in front of me, mm -hmm. who of course weren't listening to anybody. Any on the their thing. phones, they're just talking on amongst each other. And then when they put their heads up, they scoffed, and they were like, oh, it's all about Trump. And I'm like, well, you don't, if you're not listening to people, so you don't understand See, why. That, that's the vocal minority that I'm talking about, man. Yeah. That's exactly what it is. That's why I'm like, well, if you, if you want us to talk to you, and listen to you, then you have to listen to us. You have to give the respect. And, and um, you know, Bill Maher said that there was this guy who went to UC Berkeley who tried to talk about, mm -hmm. he's, he's basically right-wing and, and stuff like that. And he's like, oh, he has a right to speak, and Bill Maher is kind of mad that they processed it. I'm like, black people are tired of hearing that. Mm -hmm. Like, to me, it's been going on for so long that we've had to just let those people talk, that they have a voice too, that the KKK can do whatever they want, that mm -hmm. they're still a group with the Black Panthers who gave food and breakfast and educated uh, children on what to do with police and how to act and conduct yourself. Those were the groups that were taken down. Mm -hmm. Like, t I'm, I feel like people are just tired of hearing that. So I understand where he comes from. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, you have to let people speak. But if people are tired of that because that's all they've been hearing for years and you have a congressman who, who stood up to Trump and then Trump basically just bashed him and, and, and uh, who fought in the civil rights with Martin Luther King side by side, mm -hmm. then that's the problem. To me, I'm not... Uh, I don't know. I just don't want to hear that again because you already know what he's gonna say. He's gonna say that this belong, this country belongs to us. That we need to get Mexicans out. And it's all, it's all in the interest of protecting the nation, looking out for the, the nation, best interests, and all that. And to me, that's a problem right there.
That's why I can't. I don't. I don't want to listen to these it's people. It's not. And I also think when he ha- when he makes comments about like it's our nation, it's not. When you say our nation, what do you mean by our? Yeah. Like I feel like America in of itself is an is a nation f- found. Not want to say founded, but it's usually essentially it run by immigrants. It was founded yeah. by. It wasn't me. Yeah, people came. People came from Britain and stuff like that. Obviously, and again, the only people that were here were Native Americans, and they basically ran them out. And we ran them out. Basically, so everybody was an immigrant at one point. Of course, like, I mean, except for, for, you know, slave trade and and all that, but basically everybody who came to this country, Germans, um, you have Spanish, you have Jewish people who were also blocked, and that's why the Muslim ban was so bad, because they're dying in their country, and so history repeats itself, and people don't understand that. History, like, what we did, what we're doing to the Muslims now, we did to the Jewish people when the, when the Holocaust was happening, Mm -hmm. and we sent it back, yes, so of course some people went into other parts of Europe, and they survived, but some of them, they did end up going into Auschwitz and, and, and were murdered by Hitler and his regime. Mm-hmm. So it's basically the same thing. You know, now there's ISIS and and there are plenty of refugees that, that actually need help. And it's disgusting. And so they'll tell you about the, the terrorist attacks that Muslims do, but in Canada there was a right-wing extremist who went into a mosque and shot people and, and killed and injured people. But Where was this? In Canada. Oh yeah, I actually did hear about that. And Trump did not say one word. So it's if that was a Muslim person, who would have been see? I told you we need to block. But when it's, it's also a it's also iffy. Right it's also iffy though because that's international affairs, and I feel like Trump doesn't really no, have no. He would have said it. He said the thing about the Paris attacks. That was in Paris, but he still was like, see, I told you. Yeah, oh, okay. he's like, see, I told you this is why. So he's choosing. He's picking and choosing and selecting exactly which terrorist attacks he wants to talk about. Obviously, it's not going to be the one with Christian or Catholic people, mm-hmm. and it's going to be the one with Muslim people in it, and more. Muslims are killed by Muslims than than uh, than people in America are killed by Muslims. Just want to put it out there. It is on the put it out. There. Breaking news: mm-hmm. Trump selected Alexander Acosta as no, labor secretary. No, Sources you say. I Me mean, neither, but you know, yeah. put that out there. You got your news. Breaking news here. Uh, you got to cover. We got to cover everything. We got breaking news. Breaking news. <laughs> <laughs> like seeing that, we're gonna talk about breaking news. Oh yeah. Five hours from now. Let's go cover it. <laughs> That's all. We'll talk about it next week. <laughs> That's about breaking exactly. news. Exactly. <laughs> they love that so much. <laughs> they skipped the uh, town hall with Van Jones and Bill Maher for breaking news that happened literally hours ago. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, it's not. I don't, you know, that, I don't know that. I don't know that. I don't know that's news for sure. I don't it's know about breaking. It's been broke already. So, but I want to ask you, Andrew, what do you think about? Because I know there's criticisms asked to Trump when it comes to Twitter mm-hmm. and the fact that he tweets. What do you think about the fact that we have a president who lets us know how things are and how he feels on Twitter? Do you think it's a good thing or do you think it's a bad thing? Or do you think it's a bad thing because it's just him? It's not. It's not a bad thing if it's the truth. Mm-hmm. But if mm-hmm. if you're lying about it, whatever you lie about, then that's that's a bad thing. Because mm-hmm. he's yeah, he's tweeting and he's telling us how he feels, which doesn't really matter. It's, it's not. I think it's not. I think, I think in that feels. sense, it's cool because we get like an insight into what he's it thinking. You know, co- it is cool. But he, it's just the person that he is. Like if that's Obama did it, I'd be all for it. I'd be like tweet all day, every day about what's happening, about the EPA. Mm-hmm. Um, and Obamacare and, and everything. Yeah, everybody up there. He's stuff. tweeting stuff that's not true. He was more concerned about uh, Michael Flynn being disrespected, apparently, by the media than him talking to Russia and doing an illegal act, which they said to lock Hillary up for. So, tweeting like that? No, of course not. Tweeting mm-hmm. about SNL? Like, really? Mm-hmm. Every president gets mocked on SNL. George Bush got mocked on SNL, like, every every week when he was president with, yeah, by Will Ferrell. <laughs> so it's not a big deal. Like, calm down. Yeah, they're going to mock you because that's how you act. That's how people see you. It's how, it's how you're being perceived, man. Yeah, yeah, and he's always against the media, and and that's the dangerous part because we have First Amendment laws, and I'm taking media and ethics class with, with Breslin. Yeah, right and now. you hear about the First Amendment laws. Yeah, and you hear about libel laws, and, like, he can't go after the libel laws because it's, nah, it's all on their fair use. It's all equal representation all, yeah. you, you have a right to use your media and, and it just, you have a right to, you have a right to like for satire and parody yeah, exactly just like he has a right to tweet they have a right to tell the truth mm-hmm. it's not so everything that's that he doesn't like that they that they go against him for that's the fake news mm-hmm. but everything if somebody praises him like on fox news which he watches too much tv of um and and breitbart news that's real news apparently 
So, you know, we're just going to have to keep fighting like we do every weekend. Every weekend, people are protesting. Every Saturday, people are out there because something happens. And every Friday, he goes to Mar-a-Lago in Florida mm -hmm. to basically chill. This is not a, a, a week job. This is an every single day job. You're going to have to be up there's Saturday, no, Sunday. No off. There's no days off. Like, yes, you do take vacations like Obama did. But Obama didn't go golfing in the first three weeks of his presidency. In the first month, he didn't go golfing with people. No, he was busy like he was busy actually doing stuff and his cabinet was way more he had way more depth in his cabinet had more people and picked not, in his not cabinet even depth, he just had way more stability way more he stability. didn't have people coming had, in and out he had smart people he had a nobel prize winner head of the epa i think and then he had um uh, a, another scientist who was the head of the EPA. Mm -hmm. Trump has somebody who's against the EPA and the EPA. Andy Puzder was against raising the minimum wage. He didn't like workers. He wanted to replace workers with robots because robots can't complain. They can't tell you anything. They, can't, they don't have problems. They don't have kids. They don't have to do this and that. Mm -hmm. And he was the head of labor. And people were okay with that. Well, not Republicans because that's why he was he was brought down. Mm -hmm. But Betsy DeVos who's never been in a public school her whole life, who doesn't know the First thing about public schools and public education mm -hmm. that oh, what position does she have? She's she's the um, the head of education. Wow. Ben Carson, a neurosurgeon, uh, is the head of uh, housing and urban development. Does that even when you say it out loud? Wait, you said, do you just say neurosurgeon? Yes, he's a brain doctor. He's a brain he's, doctor. Yeah, I understand that, but as for housing, for housing and urban development, man, he's choosing black people that black people don't like. <laughs> He has Amorosa with him. He has what? Was she on VH1? She was. <laughs> she was. He, no, well, he's. She's not in his cabinet, but he's talking to her and like. She's like a consultant. Don't we don't like her. Like we don't. We don't like Amorosa. Like so I don't know when she was on The Apprentice. She was on The Apprentice. That's why he likes her. And then he had a priest. He was like, I talked to the top gang thugs in Chicago, and and they're saying that if you change the policy or if you bring crime down, that we'll lower our body count. And then he and then he went on. And he was like, No, I only talked to one former gang member and then he went on again who's saying no I made it up because I was tired wow. those are the people that he has with him this is completely incompetent people man and it's crazy so we're just gonna have to keep fighting every single week every single day like people like Jake Tapper and, mm -hmm. and, and Anderson Cooper on CNN Rachel Maddow all the uh, mm -hmm. John Oliver doing his, his thing we're just gonna have to keep fighting man Mm -hmm. It's just crazy. This is, we've never seen a president like this before. And we only, and we only just started, people. One more years of this at minimum. This, this is at not minimum. A month. It's not even a month. At bro. minimum, four years of this, it's man. It's crazy. It's wild. At minimum. And he hates his job. Melania hates her job, apparently. Dude, Melania got... My yeah. favorite, I, I don't want to say I feel bad for her, but like, I'm pretty sure she married Trump for just the money. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. She's a model, and now she's a first lady. <laughs> Damn. That's crazy. Good man. luck with all that responsibility. Yo, you went from, from Michelle Obama, I think she went to Harvard and Yale or Princeton. Oh, very what educated lady. lady. Very it educated is? lady. Bruh. It's crazy, man. The world is changing. When we come back, we're going to talk about sports, who's getting traded, and who's staying in their place. Stay with us. Stay tuned. We got it covered.